Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. A workshop is held by Capital Market Authority to promote investors' confidence through legislations and laws. Protection of childhood from diabetes and obesity top aims of the first Gulf Diabetic Food Conference. And a third tremor during a week occurs at a Sea of Oman without direct impact on establishments. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sent a cable of greetings to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland and the head of the Commonwealth on her birthday. A workshop on legislative development of capital market law discussed violations in capital market law, its role in enhancing investors' confidence, control rules project and instruments regulations project. The workshop came with wide participation from heads, members of companies, board of directors, CEOs and legal advisors. It also came to provide the companies with the importance of the issued laws. His Excellency Shah Abdullah bin Asalim As Salmi, Executive President of Capital Market Authority, presided over the opening ceremony. His Excellency Shah Abdullah bin Asalim Al Salmi, Executive President of Capital Market Authority, said that the commitment of companies listed in Muscat Security Market to reveal of annual financial results in the determined dates has contributed greatly in stability of uh, trading operations in the market amid declines in the neighboring security markets. His Excellency also explained that the governance announced issuing instruments with amount of 200 million Omani reals, adding that the market is good after the stability of oil prices. Under the patronage of His Excellency Sayyid Sultan bin Yarab al Busaidi, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health for Health Affairs, the first Gulf Diabetic Food Conference concluded its session today. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rabai. The first Gulf Diabetic Food Conference organized by the Gulf Diabetic Food Working Group in collaboration with the Minister of Health, Non-Communicable Control Disease Department, concluded today. The two-day conference attended by food specialists and diabetic food nurses from the GCC countries. Diabetic food is a food that exhibits any pathology that results directly from diabetes mellitus. I asked David Armstrong, uh, professor of surgery, University of Arizona, what difference will this conference make towards diabetes patients? He said, Every 20 seconds now around the world, someone loses their leg because of diabetes. And every 20 seconds, this is a problem that is preventable. And it is meetings like this where we all come together uh, from around the world, not just from around Oman or from around the Middle East, uh, or from South Asia and Europe, but from around the world, and direct ourselves to this task, this very big task, we can really make a difference. And I think in, we can make a difference in the lives uh, of our patients and of their families. And it's been an absolute pleasure to be a part of this wonderful meeting, and I thank the organizers and the healthcare ministry. People with diabetes are at increase of risk of peripheral arterial disease and neuropathy, as well as having a higher risk of developing infections and decreased ability to clear infections. Therefore, people with diabetes are prone to frequent and often severe food problems and a relatively high risk of infection, gangrene and amputation. Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Sultanate of Oman Television. The Earthquake Monitoring Center at Sultan Qaboos University announced the occurrence of a shock in the Sea of Oman measuring 2.5 degrees on richer scale. According to the Earthquake Monitoring Center, the current shock happened at the same spot of two days ago, mentioning that the shock is 10 kilometers away from Muscat at a depth of 10 kilometers under the ground level. The center added that the shock is small and did not cause any damage to the infrastructure. This shock came after two shocks occurred in the past two days in the Sea of Oman. 
The Ministry of Heritage of Culture carried out of a survey journey within the program of archaeological surveys and excavations for the season 2014-2015 in collaboration with 20 groups from local universities and international houses of expertise. The survey to a different sites among which but in the Wilaya of Ibri, Hassan Ras Al Had in the Wilaya of Sur and Al Dir in the Wilaya of Dabba, besides other sites. Within this program, the Ministry held a training workshop on preventive maintenance of antiquities and depends on the analytical field, visit on the training, the participants and the concerned personnel on the modern methods apply in such surveys in order to excavate those sites and document them. Still to come in our news bulletin. Plastic photography, the art which combined fine art and photography, is held in an exhibition of 42 pictures. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. The Saudi Interior Ministry say today a Saudi soldier has been killed in a barrage of mortar and other fire along with border with Yemen. The soldier is the eighth to die since warplanes from a Saudi-led coalition on March 26 began airstrikes in Yemen to stop a southern advance by Houthi rebels. Meanwhile, an airstrike on a Scud missile base in the Yemeni capital Sana'a caused a big explosion that blew out windows in homes, killing seven people and wounding dozens. The blast hit the base of Faj Atan Mountain beside Hadar district, home to the presidential palace and the many embassies, and sent a thick pillar of smoke into the air. The campaign has repeatedly targeted the Faj Atan facility along with other military bases and airports in Sana'a and throughout the country. A bomb exploded today on a van carrying UN employees in northern Somalia, killing at least nine people and wounding several others. Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility for the attack. UNICEF said in a statement that four of its employees were reportedly killed in the bombing of their van, which was painted white and had UN painted on the side in its blue letters. Four others were seriously injured. The bomb was apparently planted under a seat and was detonated by remote control. But foreigners and Somalis were casualties of the attack in Garawe, the capital of the semi-autonomous Pontland region Somali. President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud called it a direct attack on the future of the country. Bombings are not common in northern Somalia, unlike in the south where Al-Shabaab extremists are fighting the Somali government and the African Union forces bolstering it. Programs of scholarships top discussions of Her Excellency Dr. Rawia bin Saud al busaidia Minister of Higher Education, with His Excellency Dr. Daniels Biflex, Minister of Education and Science of Lithuania. During the meeting, both sides discussed the main criteria at foreign higher education institutions to send students to the importance of technological and vocational education, as well as the possibility of benefiting from Lithuanian experiences. They also highlighted highlighted the main skills that the ministry seeks for its students in medical, scientific and engineering specializations as such as practical skills that are needed for labor market. Representatives of higher education institutions of Lithuania gave a brief about their institutions, the main programs available and the basic requirements to join these institutions. A seminar was held on electricity plans and projects in the governorate of 
South Albatna, shedding light on the most prominent projects and challenges facing expansion efforts in this vital sector. The seminar unveiled that more than 100 million Omani rials was the volume of investment in the field of electricity energy production in the governorate. Plastic photography, the art which combined fine art and photography, was held in an exhibition of 42 pictures. The exhibition by artist Sayyid Ibrahim ibn Sayyid al busaidi attracted a number of interested people from inside and outside the Sultanate. The three-day exhibition was open at the Omani Photographic Society of Sultan Qaboos Higher Center of Culture and Science in Asib. Rejoicing the safe return of His Majesty the Sultan to the homeland, a number of citizens who are receiving treatment at Chennai hospitals in India organized a celebration through which they thanked Allah the Almighty for bestowing upon His Majesty good health. The patients also showed a visual film about the Omani Renaissance laid by His Majesty since assumed the rule of, of the Sultanate and the development that Oman witnessed in different aspects of life. A number of citizens from Gulf Cooperation Council countries who are there along with medical staff, Chennai Hospital participated in the ceremony. Now for the general weather forecast, clear skies will prevail over most governorates of the Sultanate with dust accumulation and fog during late night and at dawn along the coastal areas of the governorate of Sharkia and Worcester. Winds will be north to northwesterly light to moderate along the coastal areas of Arabian Sea and it will be northwesterly to westerly light to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate. Sea will be moderate to rough along the coast of Sea of Oman and the governorate of Musandam with a maximum wave height of 2.5 meters. Along the rest of the coast, it will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the alternative for Mon Television. Before we enter tonight's bulletin, hear the main points once again. A workshop is held by Capital Market Authority to promote investors' con confidence through legislations and laws. Protection of childhood from diabetes and obesity, top aims of the first Gulf Diabetic Food Conference. And a third tremor during a week occurs at the Sea of Oman without direct impact on establishments. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studio and the newsroom, it's good night.